a while ago i asked some friends what is a good rpg game to play just to pass the time something easy and they recommended to me to play farm rpg and this game is really cool it's really fun um, it's available on mobile you can download it as an app so this game is browser based and it's really simple there's farming, fishing, crafting, and exploring. And those are the four things you can level up. Very quickly, I realized that this game can be automated. If you do this exploring task, explore the area, small cave, continue, 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 and you can see your stamina starts burning down. I realized if you just set up a clicker here, then obviously you're just going to level up. So that's a very easy thing to automate. Just keep clicking here. So I figured I'm going to set up an automation to just keep doing this. As you can see, my account already leveled up a bit here. So I do have an account that I bought it. I'm going to show you how I cheat in farm RPG. And I'm a little excited about this because I custom coded my own script here. There's a farming script. There's buying seeds for the farm, checking on the farm, selling items, doing exploring. Um, eating apple, orange juice, lemonade. These are like items, consumables in the game. Um, I have a, a fishing script and I have a separate fishing script. And we're just going to go through this. Uh, here's like a buying worms script for the fishing, um, a catching script for the actual act of catching the fish when you're fishing, and a crafting script, which uh, I don't really remember what it does. I don't think I finished. The crafting script. So the way that this script works, I open it up and it just logs in to my account. So it opens up a browser. It opens up a browser and logs into my account. And you can see here farming level 62, fishing 70, crafting 70, exploring 62. And I basically choose which script I want to run. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up my exploring bot. So I just have the command here, explore, and it picks a random zone. So we'll see here, explore. It picks a random zone from, you know, six to eight. And it, those are the zones that I have unlocked. Um, it goes to the URL here where that zone is, and it starts counting. I set a counter for 50 times in this zone and then it goes into a different zone. This is to counteract some kind of bot measures that they have. If you spend too much time in one zone, that's a red flag. Um, I found 50 to be a good number, um, but also every zone has its own loot table for drops. So you wanna have like a good variety of items coming in and going to different zones allows you to get that. One of the items is like a rune stone. It's a really rare item you can get from very specific zones only. Um, that goes the same for fishing as well. If you fish in a specific fishing pond, you'll get um, specific loot drops from that pond only. So now that we have this exploring bot running, one thing that we'll notice is that we've run out of stamina. So one thing I can do, I can run um, another. I can run another script, which is my eating apples script. So you can see I have six hundred apples, ten orange juice, um, and it basically says, you know, if um, if my stamina is zero, um, find the apples, which is here, the element. Its ID is apple. So if you look at the ID here, item. ID, span ID, apples. So we have ID, apples, click. And it's just gonna eat all my apples. And it's gonna also say here, you know, if, if there's an error, usually because there's no apples, um, go straight to orange juice, so OJ. Um, and then same thing, if we go to OJ, if there's stamina zero, eat all our OJ. And then if we have no OJ, eat our lemonade, it's just the same script over and over, but for different IDs. Um, but that's not really efficient. You don't want the script to burn through all your apples. So we have another script here, um, which I learned 
just from playing the game, it's a really cool game. <laughs> um, you have a fishing pond in your own base. It's your home fishing pond. And if you fish in your home fishing pond, then it regenerates stamina for you. So we're going to start the fishing bot now for the home fishing uh, pond. So the way I have this bot set up is to open up a browser instance for each bot that's running. That way um, it doesn't ever have to leave the page and stop the action. So um, just like for the Explorer bot, I'm going to open up an instance that logs into my farm RPG account. So here it logs in. So now you can see I have my Explorer bot running over here and I'm going to start a new bot here. So it's, the bot is called Fishing Home. Um, so Fishing Home, enter, and it says Entering Pond. And now we're in our farm pond. You see, it says, you caught something, you caught something, carp, carp. And then a the little um, time-stamped prompt here saying what it's doing. So it's Entering Pond, Fishing, 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 Fishing. And I think I have this set to do it 75 times before it refreshes so that it doesn't trigger any kind of bot. You can see here my fishing streak is 32,000 from when I was doing this last and it's just continuing it now. So uh, obviously if someone looked at my account and saw my fishing streak, um, it would it would be very obvious that this is a bot account. And if you see my fishing streak for all my ponds, um, they're all like 10,000 plus fishing streak. So when we go to our exploring bot, you can see we have stamina now. Because we're fishing in our farm pond, we're restoring stamina. And because we're restoring stamina, we can go in our exploring. So you can see it's using stamina, but I'm actually increasing stamina instead of burning it. So um, getting the timing right for these bots was a little bit of um, playing around. Um, you know, like the time.sleep here, um, you know, everything was sort of like tuned to how quickly I can catch fish, to how quickly I burn stamina. And, um, you know, I can just leave this running on my computer and I can open the app on my phone and manage everything that my account has, has been producing. For example, if I get a lot of items and I can now do crafting, if I catch a lot of fish and I can now sell them, it's, it basically makes sure that my account is always working so that when I want to actually play manually, I can, I can just do maintenance on my account. So if I go, if I go to my fishing, you can see what my streak is on every pond. It's like 14,000, 7,000, 32,000. That's just fishing done by the bot. When it comes to running these bots, I found that you can really only have four instances running at a time before it starts locking you out. So they do have a bunch of contingencies in place for locking out botters. And it makes sense because every, every action you make in this game sends a request to their server. And if you do like 10,000 requests per second, you're gonna burn down their server and it's gonna ruin the experience for everyone. So doing this kind of stuff, um, although it's against the terms of service, you still wanna do it responsibly. My account has not been banned because it's playing it very slowly. Like it's only spending stamina like once per second. If you're playing manually, you're tapping that really fast. So this is working as fast or slower than an actual player, but it's playing like four instances at a time. So, um, you know, just the idea is, you know, just don't abuse it, right? You don't want to ruin the experience for everyone. Like the goal, the goal with this is not to um, crash the game. It's just to keep my account active when I'm not playing it. So it kind of turns this into an idle game when you, when you set up bots for it.